Airline workers busted in a plan to smuggle drugs onto flights out of DFW. Our Rebecca Lopez is here with all the details. Rebecca, <laughs> this was quite an operation. It was. It was actually a two-year investigation. The U.S. attorney says this is about greed. They say the suspects would do anything for cash and were willing to smuggle crystal meth and the explosive C4 on airliners. This morning, the U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Texas announced that 10 men were indicted. Seven worked for Envoy, which is an American Airlines largest regional carrier. Two worked for Spirit Airlines. One has not been arrested, but is a former Spirit employee. Now, authorities say the men shipped 66 kilos they believed was crystal meth to three cities. Now, here's a map. They made one shipment from DFW to Charlotte, one shipment to Phoenix Sky Harbor, and six shipments to Newark. The men believed that they were shipping real crystal meth, but in fact, the drugs were fake. They thought they had a client, but they were undercover agents. These are eight of the men who were arrested. The U.S. attorney says the men were willing to use their positions as airline employees to bypass security measures. The suspects uh, worked again for Envoy and Spirit. Authorities say each time they made a shipment, agents were at the receiving end of each flight to collect the fake drugs. They were placed on American Airlines flights. Now, agents decided to move in when they learned the ring was also willing to smuggle explosives and guns. Learning this information and the willingness of these defendants to smuggle dangerous explosives, case agents moved to stop the conspiracy and arranged for a takedown yesterday afternoon. American Airlines issued a statement saying we have an unwavering commitment to safety and security of our customers and team members, and we take this matter very seriously. American Airlines also says they conduct criminal background checks on all airport employees. They have suspended the suspects pending the outcome of the investigation. It's important to note that no real drugs, guns, or explosives were ever shipped. Izzy. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Well, we've